Well, the horse fire up north is finally more than 70% contained. That is one obstacle down for Crown King firefighters who've been battling this, been spending days keeping flames away from town. Today, Brittany Thomas and Learn Crews now have a new battle they're facing. This map shows Crown King right here. The fire got within half a mile of town. That's scary, but what's also terrifying is the cost of manpower, plus running big trucks like this for the fire was so expensive, it drained the department's budget. They sign up for working long shifts and saving lives. But the concern for Fire Chief Ian Doherty today comes down to how he'll pay his crew. Very worried. You know, these are our jobs. Um, this is our town and it's a lot of stress. Even before the horse fire, Doherty says the department was out of money. We get money from taxes from the county. Um, that money for us this year is about just under $100,000. With 12 firefighters working 10 to 16 hour shifts for seven days, the horse fire cost the Crown King Fire Department fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Our hard dollar cost is about twenty five thousand dollars a month or three hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, so a fire like this already tax our budget even more. He says Yavapai County gave them a loan to make ends meet for now until hopefully more funds come through. We've always lived on the edge since I've worked for Crown King Fire Department. Um, the thing that's really kept us afloat is grants, so we run personnel grants to keep, you know, full-time staff here. Anyone can send donations to the Crown King Fire Department, and they hope that continues to happen, so the people who work here will still get a paycheck. Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.